In this video, I'm going to talk about feedback table within Microsoft Power Apps. Now, feedback table is basically used to manage feedback and ratings for records in Dataverse. By default, the feedback table is enabled for contacts, knowledge articles table. Now, knowledge articles table are closely related to Dynamics 365 customer service application. Contact table is basically a universal table which is available in uh, in the dataverse uh, feedback table basically can be used to capture various items like feedback ratings comments simple contact us form now what is the purpose of feedback table now the purpose of feedback table is that this is a stock standard table which is already available out of the box and if you want to implement feedback or ratings or want to extract comments from the users then you can use feedback table which is available out of the box if it serves the purpose now uh, there are many uh, scenarios uh, in uh, say dynamics 365 customer service application whereby uh, you need to uh, rate something like if you want to if you as an internal user want to rate the knowledge article which has been published within your organization or if you want to rate the cases how the cases was resolved and uh, how how do you uh, uh, say rate the case resolution by an agent so those all things can be done using uh, the feedback table now in the back end if you navigate to wake.power apps you will see the feedback table as seen over here it's a standard table and it stores feedback and rating now there are various other columns which contains information on the feedback table i'm going to go through that in the demo but uh, some of the important column within the feedback table are rating normalized rating uh, minimum rating maximum rating uh, and comments uh, regarding field which points to the actual record for which the feedback is pointed to uh, and then there are other uh, columns related to publish to web status reasons status etc table creation settings so what happens like uh, how do you say that a table is linked to a feedback table now if you create any custom table or if you use a uh, standard out of the box table which are available within dataverse then in while creating a table or editing the table properties you will find this item called as can be linked to feedback okay now if you turn the switch on okay then what will happen is this the current table will get linked to the feedback table and that's where in the feedback table there is a column called as regarding table uh, so what happens is that it establishes a relationship between the custom table or the out of the box table and the feedback table and from that point onwards any record which gets stored in the feedback table will have a context of uh, which uh, record within the table uh, it belongs to now the new feedback the the feedback table basically has a inbuilt set of forms like a feedback main ic or feedback or simple contact us form or a new comment form so you can utilize the out of the box form if it serves your purpose or maybe you can create your own custom form depending on your requirement now all these forms are different with different fields as you see over here this form has a different field this form has a different field this is completely different and even new comment form just has one uh, label of comments uh, also you can if, if you see this particular grid over here you can add this feedback table grid against your record so take for example if you want to sh show uh, uh, the feedback or if you want to users to add the feedback uh, for a specific table then you can use the grid provided that that table is currently having a reference to the feedback table so let me show you an action first let me show you dynamics 365 customer service hub application now this is a dynamics 365 customer service hub application it has some sort of uh, uh, case management system being implemented uh, for one of my uh, uh, test organization okay now now i can attach cases with the feedback i can attach any entity with the feedback but i have mentioned to you that the contacts record and the knowledge article record has already been connected with the feedback table 
Now, if you see this contact record, this is connected with the feedback uh, table. Then there is a knowledge article, which is also connected with feedback record. Now, just to show you how it is connected, uh, if you, so let me just close the scope pilot. Yes. So if you see this section related, okay, against a knowledge article, here you will see a connected table called as feedback table. Okay. Now, if I click on feedback table, I have, uh, I can create a new feedback or I can add existing feedback. So any feedback which I add will get attached to the knowledge article, which is listed over here. Okay. So like this, I can connect it to various record. Now for cases, you know, I can also do the same thing for contacts. Also, I can do the same thing. Now in customer service trial environment, uh, in make.powerapps interface. Now, if I want to show you where that table reside, you need to go into the tables, click on all and just type feedback. Now let's analyze this feedback table, okay? Now you'll find this feedback table. Let's go inside this feedback table and this feedback table, the description is feedback and rating and the uh, it's a basically a standard table. Now, what all column it contains, okay? The first important column it contains is named as a regarding, okay? So this is a pointer reference, okay? So the, so what does this indicate this is that case 007, someone has rated case 007, okay? So if I go to cases and let me show you the case 007. So let me search using this interface. So this is the case 007. So someone, someone has already rated uh, uh, this case 007. Okay. Now this case 007, uh, if you see over here, someone has rated twice. Okay. So now what does this table contains? Now this table contains a regarding column. There is a title column. There is a rating column. Then there is a comment column. Then there is a status reason. And apart from that, there are other more uh, columns which is not selected over here so let's see one by one one is a context column then the rest all are stock standard created by created on audit related columns then there is a feedback column maximum rating minimum rating and there is a normalized rating <clears throat> so let's do one thing if if I show you maximum rating, so against that specific record, if the maximum rating is five and the minimum rating is zero, and if you have rated five, then the normalized rating would be one. Okay, so it's kind of like a probability kind of a calculation. Okay, so if out of zero to five, if you have been rated five, then the normalized rating is one. Or if I just rate this as say maybe two. Okay, and if I just refresh this. So now I've changed the maximum rating as two, okay? Oh, sorry, I, I changed the wrong place. So I need to change the rating as two and the maximum rating over here as five and minimum rating as zero, okay? And let me refresh the screen again. So if you see the calculation, so there is a maximum rating, there is a minimum rating, and then there is an actual rating. The rating is two over here for that first record. And now if you see the normalized rating has been turned into 0 0.40, okay, because we have rated uh, two. So like that, this normalized rating gets calculated, okay. Now, uh, if you want to actually see the feedback table in Customer Service Hub application, you just click on search and you can click on advanced filter, okay. And here you can start typing the name of the table. So here you'll find feedback. If you search for feedback, then here you will see the feedback table actually listed. Okay. Now you can manually add a feedback from here. So if I click on new, then you can actually provide feedback. Okay. But this feedback table, as I showed to you, it has title regarding source comments, maximum rating. So you need to actually link to the record through which you want to uh, link it okay so you can point it to a contact table or a uh, account table or case table but in my case if i click on all records over here and if i go to so let me close this and let me uh, press and enter 
and then I click on advanced lookup and then here on the left hand side here you will see all the table uh, which is currently linked to the feedback table. So there is cases, there's contacts, there's feedback, there is knowledge article. Now I can link other table also. Now I showed you how to link a specific table uh, to a uh, feedback table. So take for example, if you want to link the account table, then what you need to do, you need to select the account table, go inside the account table, go to properties, and then go to the advanced option and you just select this can be linked to feedback and just click on save so it might take a while for the uh, system to update but once it is updated then uh, you should be able to see account record over here as well okay so so here it is showing you four types of record uh, but after like the complete refresh it will show you five type of record okay uh, now why it will show five types of record because then it will take into consideration the account record as well okay now uh, this this update is not instantaneous uh, it will take some time so as you see over here like i'm just saving it so let me jump into an, another screen okay so this is a different environment now what i've done is like i've created a simple table called as basketball okay so if i go into the table if i go into the custom and he'll he will see basketball sports okay now this particular table, if I go into the property, now this is a custom table which I have created. So what I've done is I have linked it to a feedback. Now, once you take it, you cannot change it back. Okay, so that's why you see the information over here. Let people provide feedback and rating for the rows in the table. So I've created a basketball sports uh, table and I've created an app. Okay, now if I show you the app, this is how the app will look like. Okay, so there is a basketball sports list over here. Uh, and then uh, you can go inside a record and then you can uh, view the record. Now, if you see this table over here, okay, this is this is the one which is like I have added it manually, okay, in the form, okay. So if you see this form, okay, so if I go into the form, if I go into the main form, okay, so what I've done over here is I've added a subgrid, okay. So let me show you again, uh, like how this feedback table came in okay so think for, take for example like if this is your uh, normal table form uh, and if you are inside it you will not find this record right you will not find this uh, grid so let me so let me just zoom this a bit oh it's too much Yeah, so if you see the name, the owner field, this is all, all available out of the box. However, this grid, what I've done is I've gone into component, I've selected a subgrid, okay? So once you select a subgrid, then it will ask you to show related record, and then you need to actually specify what uh, table you want. I've selected the feedback table, and I've selected the, uh, the default view. So I can select rating, comments, uh, related feedback, resolve feedback, all feedback, depending on my requirement. Now I'll just discard this. And the purpose of this is because this feedback table, you need to actually configure because feedback table can be used for feedback, rating, comments, etc. So depending on your situation, you need to define the form accordingly. Okay. So if you see this basketball uh, application which I have created here, the goal is basically you go inside the uh, the record. So if I go into Celebron, and then uh, I can create a feedback from here. Okay. So I can see that there are two uh, ratings which has been already provided. Okay. Now if I go to another record, say James Tess. Okay. Now there are no feedback for this record. So what I can do, I can click on create feedback. And now if you see the context has already been taken, okay, because we know that this feedback is related to James test because we are going from James test record. Now here I can say, uh, say awesome player. Uh, and then I can specify the maximum rating. Now, if you see this form, this form really doesn't make sense because there is title, there is source, uh, but maximum rating, you should actually have a rating, right? So you can select main IC form. Okay, you can discard the changes and then you can go into this form and you can say, uh, again, put your rating and say awesome player. And you put a minimum rating as one, maximum rating as five, and you give a rating of five, okay? And whatever comments you want, uh, I'd like to see this player in comps, okay? And I'll just click on save. 
now this is how i have added this feedback uh, into this table okay so if you want to see in the back end what you need to do you need to go into the correct environment so in my case this is a garish preview us environment go to the tables and then uh, go to all and you just type feedback the moment you type feedback a feedback table will appear and then in that the record which we have just added will be shown over here so we have added this for james test and you will be able to see all the information with regards to that record right so this is how we basically use feedback now we have just used rating component but then you can use uh, to design your own form okay you can create your separate form and you can only put say either rating if you want to use rating or if you want to just extract comments just put comments or if you want something else so so there is a simple contact us form so you can use uh, the contact us form or maybe you can just use a simple plain comment form okay so it, it really depends on your requirement your need but make sure that if you are using feedback uh, or comments for your application there is a table which is already available in the dataverse table uh, dataverse uh, environment uh, so make sure that you use that uh, until unless you have a very different need to provision a separate feedback or rating table okay thanks for watching